Joining cabinets refers to combining single section modular cabinets into one, joining several countertops into one, or joining the toe kicks of modular cabinets into one. You may only join cabinets that are not split, have the same height and the same depth. Here for example we have filled a wall with modular cabinets. A wall elevation, shown without dimensions, will show that each cabinet has left and right styles that butt up against each other. What you cannot see is that they each have unfinished ends that butt up against each other as well. The elevation also shows that we have four separate base cabinets. To join these four modular cabinets into one, we first press the join command while we are in elevation mode as we are now, or in plan view as we were earlier. We can use the tilt button if we have to in order to see the cabinets we wish to join, but this time it is not necessary since the cabinets we wish to join can easily be seen. We then click on each of the cabinets in the order in which we want them joined, being careful to make sure that we click one of the black lines defining the cabinet as we select it. For purposes of this tutorial, I will click the cabinet with three drawers first so that it will switch places with the cabinet on its left with no drawers. We can give a name to the cabinet either at this time or after we enter the cabinet editor and check whether we want to join the cabinet, the toe kick, or the countertop. In this case, we're joining the entire cabinet. When we are finished with selecting the cabinets we wish to join, we will press the Go button, and Cabinet Pro will highlight the cabinets that we have selected to join. Pressing the Confirm button will join the cabinets and take us into the cabinet editor. You will notice that Cabinet Pro swapped the first two cabinets because of the order in which I selected them. You should also notice that the common ends have been replaced by vertical partitions with entirely different dimensions and possibly material. These vertical partitions are by default centered on each joining style, but each of them can be adjusted as is necessary in this cabinet editor to go, to go either left, right, or center, or somewhere in between. If we open the doors and drawers, we will see the insides of our new cabinet perfectly put together whose cutlass, bid, and CNC are all ready to be produced at this point. And if we choose to look at the face frame only, we will see that the entire cabinet is under one continuous face frame. Now, let's place the cabinet back onto the floor plan. Where we will see that we have one cabinet that is about 137 inches long, replacing the four cabinets that we started with. 